So Lucy, when have you seen that typical students make mistakes? I know with um, a lot of these sterile techniques, we end up with fungus or mm -hmm. something going That's in our fine. next week when we come back. Okay. Where have you seen students typically make mistakes and how can you tell us to avoid them in the future? Uh, the first mistake that I've seen is that um, students set up the station like in a same circle, right? But when they're working, they put things in the middle and they forget to put it on the side. So always keep the station clean and always um, try not to go um, pass your hand over things. Okay, so let's say I have my, my tube ready and I just happen to open it. And then, or let's say they put the cap down, but they forget that the cap is right next to you and they want to grab it, grab the tube again, they go over. So your hand is already over the cap and whatever is inside, and you close it, will introduce uh, contamination into the sound. Because okay. there could be bacteria on your hands, yes. skin cells are mm -hmm. falling off, even though even there's though a little there. gap. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. And then another issue that I found is that I know it's hard at the first time to uncap with just the two fingers, just like that. It's totally fine if you do it with your other hand, but do it sterile. You can do it this way, set your cap down, push it to the back so you don't risk having your hand passing over, like that. But whenever you go take it back and close the tube, the students usually go and grab it this way, so your hand still pass over. So you kind of want to sneak and then go on the side and then close the tube. Everything, even with anything else, you can do the same with this tube. Let the cap down and then you go on the side. Since a lot of students are brand new with the um, pipette men, mm -hmm. um, what would happen if you spilled a little? Because I noticed that uh, when I do see people do cell culture, mm -hmm. especially when they're new, mm -hmm. they spill some of the media on the bottom. How would you clean it up? What would you recommend? Okay, first of all, uh, media, let's say, we have a small drop of media in this area, let's say. You always want to um, know any material that you're using, the proper way of cleaning. Not everything can be just ethanol or can be just wiped with you know, soap and water and that's it. So the right um, procedure to do this part for media is you go out and then you obtain 10 wipes. with soap and water first. You just spray the area and then you go and wipe it with a Kim wipe. Don't use regular um, tissues, um, paper towels or anything like that. It has to be Kim wipes. You want to clean this with soap and water first. Why? Because if you spray ethanol um, straight into the media, going to react into it and the protein is going to basically uh, leave a mark on the station and it's really hard to clean and it really is not as sterile. And then anything that you work later or the next person will be contaminated. So then after you're done with that, you spray with 70% ethanol in that area. And again, you want to wipe it with clean wipe. And make sure again, from the top to the bottom. And what if we spill trypsin? Trypsin, same thing. You have to wipe it first with chem wipe. And then this one will be a little bit of soap and water too. And then ethanol. Mm -hmm. 